Good Lord, you guys are already way ahead of me. All right, guys, we're going to the finals. Speedle show number 44. We have Ron in the finals. He's back. He's back. Moth is back in the finals. Oh, no. Is that a good thing? And guess what? We're playing Spellproof Farmer. Marshmallow Ruffian has taken this deck all the way to the top of the showdown pretty consistently, and here we are. Ron Wiz, we just saw a great match in the bracket. Honestly, I would recommend checking it out. Uh, he drew Moth each time. We did not see the skill used, and he managed to play around Spellproof Farmer and get that off like three times. That was really cool to see. Really good uh, duelmanship from Ron. Let's go to main screen. Is there an honorable fifth place match, Sofa Cord? Yeah, in your, I mean, whatever you want to do. There's no money in it, but you can do it. But meanwhile, we do have Ron's match going on. We have, oh my goodness, would you look? No, I'm just kidding. Marshmallow did wrong deck. God, oh, man. Oh, boy. All right. Going to quick change that. But we do have a bronze match going on. We have Terra Master, uh, Terra Master and Chicken Peach, who is brand new. First entry in the showdown. And they piloted Spell Performer super well. I have to call that one also. Let's just call it. All right. There we go. Yeah. So that's uh, Terra Master playing Dragoon. Chicken Peach also playing Spellproof. But here we are in the finals. Moth Spellproof. Let's see if Ron has some better hands than what we saw in the bracket. I think, granted, he played it super, super well. But, I mean, we I mean, we saw him. Three Breaker, three DD Warrior Lady. Even if you never get Moth out, that's pretty, that's pretty uh, staggering. Wow. Marshmallow Ruffian swinging for the fences right away. Soul exchange on the DD Warrior Lady into Clausolus with a special summon Cyber Dragon here. That's huge. Not even not even a swing. Wow, well, soul exchange. Can't conduct your battle phase. Got a little too excited. We got Zoma here in the end phase for Ron. The Jinzo is not out yet, so we still get that. For now. Gotta make best use of that. Unfortunately, everything swings over Zoma. Oh, Parasite though. Quick play, putting it on Zoma. Let's see how this works. We're going to main phase one, get our moth traditionally, looks like. Zoma just acting as a body here. That's not bad. Moth is a huge killer to spellproof. It's a big monster. What do you do? You soul exchange it. You flip it. You floodgate it. Even if you floodgate it or book it, it's hard to beat over. You got to soul exchange it. Or we saw um, Chicken Peach run Shrink. Good quick play spell that we're seeing some spellproof armor decks play. Here comes the cocoon. We're also going to be able to get the shuffle. Wait, did they change that? Can you? Did they change it again? Where you can do only do one per turn, so you got to do the shuffle another turn. I can't remember if they changed. I think they snuck that in somewhere in the middle of this year. Yeah, they must have. All right, there's the moth out. Going to the battle phase. Going to swing over class solos. This is a different of twelve. Difference of twelve. Damage step. Do we see shrink? What? Amazing quick play spell from Marshmallow. If we see Shrink here, that's going to put Moth down to 1750, and that's pretty devastating. Ron Wiz, pretty much out of resources here. Going to lose Moth over that exchange, and Marshmallow Ruffian looking pretty strong right now. Looking super good here. We do get the shuffle next turn for Ron, but it's hard to come back from that. That's what happened with the release start. Okay, tournament pack three. Tournament pack three was when they cut that skill down again. Yeah, thanks, Keto. Had Ron drawn one more card, would that game have been different? I'm not sure. Now we're going to side. These two are veterans. They should have a pretty comparable side deck. Should be able to play around one another. Uh, Mind Crush, I'd love to see Mind Crush. It should work pretty well here against both decks. Break, uh, Waking the Dragon. Marshmallow, if you have that. Ron's played like three breakers a game. I'm telling you. All right, we got Spell Performer. We got Summoner's Art. We're going to get Claw Souls right here. Good example for Mind Crush to be used. And we're just going to normal summon it. Set and pass. There's the breaker. Gonna get floodgated. Easy, uh, 
Easy clear for Class Solus. We get the tribute into Jinzo right here, and it looks really, really good. Ron typically doesn't have a trap that's going to combat you beating over one of his monsters. He's got Zoma we, and Floodgate. Zoma and Floodgate are kind of the big ones for him, which don't necessarily stop him losing a monster due to battle. Yeah, triple set for Ron. Jinzo would be fantastic. Soul Exchange. Oh, for Claw Solus. Okay. Soul Exchange for Jinzo would be devastating. We are going to Soul Exchange for Claw Solus. This is on the Floodgated Breaker that is face down. Floodgate on that Claw Solus. Still lose Breaker. The Claw Solus defense only 1,200. So really anything that Ron normal summons, Warrior Lady, Breaker, that's going to clear over that. The one downside to this card, I think they made it pretty well that way. If the defense was like 2,000, this would be stupid. Breaker with a counter. 19, that's going to clear over Claw Solus. We might lose it next turn, but let's see if Ron has something to stop it. One set and a swing for a difference of four. And nothing we can do. End phase Zelma. Nope. End phase Zoma. Or Zoma into Parasite here. Any of those plays are going to be good. Yeah, struggling to find those... Uh, struggling to find the fire starter here. Can't get it rolling. Now we're going to be able to put out Zoma pretty much in response to any swing. Uh, but not if we get Jinzo out. Got to hope Marshmallow doesn't get Jinzo. We're going to mind crush. You got to. You got to... <laughs> that Jinzo... There can't be a chance he has it. Let's see. What do we have? We have one. A Summoner's Art and one Class Solus and Grave. What does he have? Could he have another Soul Exchange in hand? Going to hit a Class Solus, potentially. Ooh! You just lost a card. Ah, it's the Moth. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Ron again drawn Moth. Naturally. Going to be quick finals, potentially. Going to hit the 23. Luckily, did not have a Zoma coming out for Ron. And... Luckily, on uh, Ron's side, no Jinzo. Going to get the shuffle, though. Some semblance of a board getting built back up here. He's done it before. DD Warrior Lady, can we take that, though? Is that Can we take that 800? We can. We're not going to go for it, though. But we can get that Banish. That is our out to Jinzo if we see it. But if we get Soul Exchanged, we're in trouble because then that's like our last monster resource. Going right into battle for the swing. It's going to be a difference of eight. Book a Moon on Warrior Lady to prevent some damage and still get the Banish. Fair enough. Ron Wiz surviving at 13. Man, and just cards not being kind to Ron right now. Another set. Can still do Zoma, though. Man. This was a very fast-paced game, too. It just grinded to a halt now. Looking for monsters. Top deck the DD Warrior Lady. 
Do we see Floodgate come out? We might get a free 15 here. Book of Moon comes out. We had life points to spare. Could have held on to it, but we had the Soul Exchange. And taking another Monster Array away from Ron. We could have special summoned that, but that's the versatility of the deck with Soul Exchange. Super good. No Battle Phase here. But once again, just denying Ron of these monsters. I think we're out of Warrior Ladies, right? We got two Engraving, one in Banish. Yeah. Ron Wiz has lost the ability to deal with Jinzo that isn't lost. Oh, what a side. Just raw removal of that Nobleman across out. Going to banish the Parasite. The Panic set, Parasite, nothing you can do there. Need the setup. You already used the Shuffle. And we have Lethal. Zelma will save you. And we don't have it. Marshmallow Ruffian, your speed will show to number 44 champion, Ron Wiz. Ron Wiz, a good second. We worked really hard to get here. Overload Fusion, that's the card. These cards... That's right. Marshmallow uses Psychic Shockwave and Overlord Fusion. Overload Fusion. Yeah, I forgot about this one. This is how you get uh, Dark Machine, because um, Dual Academy came out with a couple Dark Machine Fusions that actually work alongside Spellproof. So that's a cool kind of like mix-up. Good stuff, Marshmallow Ruffian, though. Ron Wiz, way to go. Get second place there. Let's go into our bronze match, see if it's still going on. And it is not. That means we're done. We're done. Who won, fr who won bronze? Uh, it was Terra Master and Terra Master and Chicken Peach. Zoma won the bronze match. <laughs> oh man, Terra Master, you won bronze over Chicken Peach. Chicken Peach, what a run though! For your first time, that was fantastic. What we saw on stream in the bracket, that was super good. Get all the way to bronze, but that's gonna be Terra Master taking third place with Dragoon. So your winners now. We have Marshmallow Ruffy in first place with Spellproof Farmer. Ron Wiz, second place with Moth. And Dragoon takes third, Terror Master. Not bad, but pretty much what we expected. Good to see Ron back up here, though. Good stuff. Solid. All right. On to the next thing. Terror Master, let me know. You ready? 